Okay, I believe that we are now Facebook Live. Um, welcome everyone, I'm Kathleen Haley, and I'm here again today for uh, Your Authentic Self that we're actually doing today is day, I think it's 11, 12. Um, for those of you who don't know me, uh, I'm Kathleen Haley. I am a frequency alchemist. I'm, I also have within my uh, soul signature, the ability to recognize all other frequencies at their authenticity. And so uh, that means that when you step into my energy, your uh, soul signature begins to come into a, a place of neutrality. I've been doing this now said, I think it's day 12. Um, and we're creating like a technology actually that is bringing certain frequencies into a neutrality. I've recognized in the last few days that there's been an elevation in this uh, feeling of anxieties and um, kind of, I, I don't even know exactly what the frequency that I've been feeling lately. It's felt a lot of confusion and just almost like a fast paced anxiousness energy that's going on. But I think it's very poignant for what we're going to take a look at today. And today we're actually going to, going to be looking at uh, the energies and frequencies that we have been identifying ourselves. We're referring to as the ego and the ego self, which is basically little you that's been trying to create a life. And we're going to shift that frequency from little you to the authentic you or your higher self perspective. So we're going to take the energy uh, into an a ability to be the observer of yourself. And I think that this is very important as I've spoken uh, in the previous videos that there's quite literally this mind matrix that is in the physical brain and I can actually see it and it looks like this closed grid container and it's been created from language and it's created from um, our belief systems and our dialogue of basically our limits of who we think we are, how we've been identified, all the ways in which we separate ourselves instead of all the ways in which we are connected and inclusive. And so, um, I think this is going to be pretty prof profound today. It was interesting that I couldn't go live yesterday. I do recommend that if anybody hasn't watched that particular video yesterday, it was very profound energy in working with the divine feminine energy, which is basically the spirituality and bringing uh, or, or experiencing power of the divine feminine through vulnerability. And so that uh, also was very very poignant yesterday. So for today, I do actually have a volunteer here. So I'm going to bring her forward and we'll see where we're going to go from here. So Angela, if you want to just bring your camera on. Fantastic. Hello. Nice to see you. Hi there. So Angela, if you want to just tell us a little bit about what brings you here. And um, I think we already kind of have an idea what we're going to work, but just kind of let us know. Right. You. Mm -hmm. So as we were um, pretty much is me releasing my title as the healer and being represented as that so that I can really be more me and being more me and being more my authentic self, then I can um, manifest a mate that's more my level. Okay. So yeah, so your, your dialogue is that you you're interested in meeting uh, a person that will match you, right? But we have to be able to observe who we are and feel that energy and bring ourselves into, again, we've talked a lot about this present moment awareness, this now moment without judgment. And so when we can bring that in, expand that, then that energy and frequency is what's gonna reach out towards your match, towards your mate. It's also going to be able to let you and what we're doing is uh, we're going to bring in our higher self connection to be able to observe the you that you have become on the planet. And as we begin to observe 
you from a higher perspective or higher self perspective, uh, you'll be able to, to feel those energies and frequencies that are not authentic to you. And then the goal is, of course, is to just simply bring them into neutrality. And that's what we're going to be doing here in the energy and frequency. Okay. Yes. Great. So uh, I'm going to ask you just to mute, keep your camera on for a minute. And, and we're going to actually start going into the energy. And anybody who's watching, I think you're all, you can all benefit from this because, because especially with now, one of the biggest things that I think we're dealing with is who are we and how can I create a life within this, this earth with all of the things that are going on right now. So I think that's going to be very important and very poignant to, uh, to what's going on today. So if everybody wants to just close your eyes, if you want to start to close your eyes and just take some nice deep breaths. And we're going to be breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And just letting go. Keep breathing and I'm just going to be expanding actually the frequency is just going to take off the edges of the body. So this is all the belief systems that I have to protect myself or that I have to show up in a certain way or that people don't, they won't get me, they can't understand me. It's not safe to show up. Any of those belief systems that's sitting on the edges of the skin you can imagine those as little particles like dirt and with our breath, we're just gonna let them dissipate out of the body very easily, comfortably, just take a breath. I'm just gonna let that release as we let also those frequencies of, it's almost like a fear, like a, like a little kid sort of energy of nervousness and fear of, of showing up. This is within the physical heart. So we're gonna spin this very high frequency diamond white light, which is pure source in through the back of the heart and out the front. And we're gonna spin that clockwise to bring the frequency of the I am that the source into the physical heart to just allow it to come into a sense of neutrality as we're releasing off those edges and allowing, just take a breath. Just gonna allow the physical body to expand. We're gonna expand out 360 degrees and we're gonna expand you all the way out. First touch the edges of the higher consciousness and communicate directly with the higher consciousness. We're also gonna carry you all the way out and plug you into the organic grid, 100% in the Earth timeline. Take a breath. And we're going to call forward the energy and frequency of the higher self. And we're going to step our energy, our awareness into the energy of the higher self to become the present observer of our now self in this now moment, take a deep breath. As we begin to become the observer, we can begin to be aware of how we're feeling at this very moment. And as we begin to kind of observe our physical body, observe our, our sense of presence, you can just take some breaths and drop deeper into the physical body, into the present moment. Taking a deep breath. So we're settling down into the body, into the place of absolute zero point presence. And we're gonna bring that zero point presence into all of our five senses, the eyes, the ears, taste, the touch, the smell, so that when we are actually moving around, particularly today, we're going to be 
in very present awareness. And we will have our higher self in observation of our ego self of the individual that has been created upon the planet. So we will be able to observe those energies and frequencies and emotions that we are interacting with. Take a deep breath. Allow yourself to come very centered, very grounded, very present. Ooh, when you're ready, you can come back and open your eyes and tell me how you feel. Tell me how you're feeling. Um, different. Um, definitely felt a lot of energy in my throat and my higher heart area. Um, my body feels a little bit heavier, heavier and lighter at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, because you're very grounded, very present and less chatter in the head. You're feeling just kind of here, yeah? Kind of here. Yeah, it probably feels very different like even in the room, like a, like a different sense of presence, just kind of like, huh, this is different. Like before, maybe there was energies and things that were moving around, right? And now suddenly it's like, huh, well, this is interesting. I'm just here. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. So, so what you wanna do from here is just, as you begin to move around your day, just start to become aware now that you can feel this energy, just to start to become aware of when things begin to shift and change within my body, particularly within my mind. And so the idea is to allow that to drop into your body, because as you do that is when you can step into that higher self energy and you become the observer of yourself. So when it begins to try to shoot up into the head, become a dialogue that starts to control you, so to speak, and have you pull away or pull back, the idea is to just simply allow those thoughts to drop into the body, allowing you to feel that sense of groundedness. As you do that, it'll clear through the eyes to the senses so that your actually eyes are open. you actually be in the present moment. And then you can be like, huh, well, that's interesting of whatever this is or that whatever's going on, instead of it going into that story that you've had in the past that's caused your energy to go into a lot of different directions, okay? Yes. So this is a beginning process for you. I want you to keep me updated. Let me know how things are going, okay? Yeah. Uh, and yeah. I thank you for um, being here live today because this was tremendous. It's gonna be very helpful for many, many people. This is a lot of what individuals are going through right now. So, so thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, take care. Bye. Okay, everybody. Well, thank you very much for uh, being with us again today. And uh, I will see you guys again tomorrow. Take care.